Hello everyone, today we're diving into something really exciting. Combining DeepSeek R1 on Amazon SageMaker with Amazon Open Search Service to build really powerful RAG applications. DeepSeek R1 is a game-changing open source AI model that has been making waves in the industry for its exceptional reasoning capabilities and cost effectiveness. What makes this particularly interesting is how we can leverage DeepSeek R1's strengths alongside Amazon Open Search Services vector database capabilities to create intelligent search and retrieval systems. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, using DeepSeek R1 on Amazon SageMaker and Amazon Open Search Service as your vector database. Whether you're a developer, data scientist, or just curious about AI implementations, this tutorial will give you practical insights into building enterprise-grade AI solutions. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create a SageMaker domain. To do that, you can navigate to Amazon SageMaker AI and then click on Domains. Then click on Create Domain. Then select the setup for single user quick setup option and click Setup. This step usually takes a few minutes. Once it's complete, then you'll see your domain under Domains. Next, we'll go to Studio in the navigation menu on the left. Then we'll select the domain that we've already created and click on Open Studio. Once we're in SageMaker Studio, I'm going to go scroll down and click on Jumpstart. Amazon Jumpstart is a machine learning hub with foundation models, built-in algorithms, and pre-built ML solutions that you can deploy with just a few clicks. So here I can already see that DeepSeek is available. I'm going to click on DeepSeek, and then I'm going to select the DeepSeek R1 Distill 14B model. Now that I've clicked on this model, I can click on the Notebooks tab, and this is a sample of the notebook that is provided for me. I can open this in Jupyter Lab by clicking on Open in Jupyter Lab button. And I can either create a new space and give it a name. In my case, I already have an existing space, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to click on Open Notebook. And then I'm going to just run the rest of the cells in this notebook to deploy the DeepSeq model on a SageMaker instance. You'll notice that it automatically selects an ML G612 Excel instance for the endpoint. You might have to change the quotas on your AWS account if you don't already have quota to create an instance of this type. Okay, after a few minutes, you'll see that the model, model is deployed. And here is me testing it with a few examples where I'm asking what is 10 plus one? And you can see the response from the model. If I go back to my SageMaker console and I scroll down to Inference. Under Inference, I can go to Endpoints and I refresh, and now I'll see a new endpoint that says DeepSeq LLM R1 that was just created, and I can click on that. And here I will copy the ARN for this model and the URL endpoint for this model. I'm going to need it later for the rest of this demo. Now that my DeepSeq model is deployed, I'm going to go back to Open Search. So I'm going to search for Open Search in my AWS console. I'll click on open search and this is where you need to create an open search cluster or domain i already have one created now that i have an open search domain i need to give permissions for open search domain to call the deep seek model to do that i need to create an iam role to create the roles and to create the connectors we've made it really easy for you by creating python scripts that already do this for you and we've uploaded them to a public repository and we're going to execute them in cloud shell so I'm going to navigate to Cloud Shell from my AWS console. So now that I'm in Cloud Shell, I'm going to clone a GitHub repository called Open Search Examples. Now I'm going to create a virtual environment. And now to be able to run the scripts, I'm going to install the requirements needed. Next, I'm going to set some environment variables up. First is I'm going to set my AWS region to US East 1. Next, I'm going to set my SageMaker model inference ARN, which I'm going to get from here on the SageMaker endpoint. Go back to Cloud Shell. Export SageMaker model inference ARN equals to that. Next, I'm going to set my model inference endpoint. And similarly, I'm going to set variables for my open search service 
cluster details. Okay, now I'm ready to create my first IAM role. So I'm going to run Python create invoke role. Okay, so this created my new IAM policy and a new IAM role. Okay, I'm just confirming that my role was created. And this role has trust relationship to allow the principal es.amazonaws.com to assume role so that the open search cluster can assume this role. And then the permissions of this role are a custom policy that allows the invoke endpoint on my DeepSeek endpoint. This is the endpoint ARN that I have just created. Next, I'm going to create the connector role. Now I can see that my new IAM role is created for the DeepSeek connector. I will run the command to store that as a variable. I'm going to set up the open search security. Let's take a look at what's in that script. What this script will do is it'll connect to open search and it'll create a role mapping granting the IAM role ML full access. So we can also check by going to the open search service, go to security, I click on roles and I go to ML full access. Here I can see under mapped users, I have my IAM role, the create deep seek connector role is mapped. Next, we're going to create the ML connector and the ML connector is created. What this script does is it connects to open search and it calls the ML connector plugin and the create API and passes in the name of my model which is a DeepSeek R1 model, the credentials to be able to get access to that model, and then some parameters needed. So it's hosted on Amazon SageMaker, the region that it's in, and some additional parameters like top P and temperature. And then finally, the actions are type predict, method is post, uh, followed by the SageMaker endpoint URL, which is what we copied earlier, and some additional input parameters in the request body. Next, we're going to run the create DeepSeek model script. What this script does is it'll connect to OpenSearch and it'll use the ML models register API to register the model in the payload for this API call, provide the name for the model, what type of function it is, and the connector ID that we get from the prior API call where we created the connection. And then it also deploys the model on OpenSearch. Just to check that it, our model was deployed correctly, I'm going to run the API to search ML models and I can see that I get one value back and this is the SageMaker DeepSeek R1 model. Uh, it's remote and it is registered. So now that it's registered, let's test it out. We're going to take the model ID from the outputs of the search, which is here. We're going to run the predict API. Let's test it by saying, hello, can you tell me the capital of Canada? And then we get a response back. Now that we have configured the DeepSeek R1 large language model on SageMaker and we have connected it to the Amazon Open Search Service cluster, now what we need to do is also create a connection to an embedding model hosted on Amazon SageMaker as well so that we can index documents as vectors into OpenSearch. To do this, I'm going to go back to my Amazon Open Search Service console. I'm going to scroll down and click on integrations. And under integrations, I'm going to click on integration with text embedding models through Amazon SageMaker. And for this demo, I'm going to click on configure public domain. This will take me to the CloudFormation stack details page where I provide a stack name. I will also provide an Amazon Open Search endpoint. This will be the endpoint to my cluster. So let me grab that. And then I will scroll all the way down and I can see that the model by default is the all mini LM L6 V2. So for this demo, I'm just going to keep that. I'm going to create stack. We'll give this a couple of minutes. Okay, now I can see that my open search SageMaker stack is completed. If I click on the stack and I go to outputs, I can see the model IDs there. So now this means that we have connected our DeepSeek R1 large language model to our open search cluster. And we have also connected our embedding model hosted on SageMaker to our open search cluster. Now all we have to do is ingest data and query it. So I'm going to go back to my Cloud Shell console and here I'm going to take the model ID that I copied from my CloudFormation output. Here we go, copy that. And then I'm going to add it as embedding model ID to my Cloud Shell. Now that that's done, I'm going to execute a script called load data. And what this script does is that it loads a data set into the Amazon Open Search Service cluster to serve as a knowledge base for RAG retrieval. And it'll use the bulk API to ingest the data. Also, the way it creates these embeddings is using an ingestion pipeline. So first you'll see that an index is created. These are the index settings. 
And then we create a field called text embedding, which is of type canon vector. It is 384 dimensions, uses the HNSW method. We also create an ingestion pipeline here with a processor called the text embedding processor. It will invoke an existing model. So this is the same model ID that points to the embedding model that we have deployed on SageMaker. And what it'll do is it'll take the input field called text and it will send that to the model, get an output vector back and store it in the text embedding field. Then we call the bulk API passing in the pipeline as the embedding pipeline so that as we're ingesting this data, we're calling the ingest pipeline, which will convert it into vectors. And here is the data set that we're indexing. So let's execute it. I get a successful message saying that the data was loaded into population data. Let's verify. I'm going to go back into my dev tools and I'm going to run a get cat indices. And here I can see there is an index called population data and it is loaded with six records, which maps to the six records here. Next, we're going to actually run a rag query. So if you remember, the idea of rag is we, as a user, send an input query into our open search cluster against a specific index. It's going to retrieve the nearest neighbors to that input query, send that as context to the large language model, and the large language model will then respond and generate an answer to our question based on the question itself, as well as the context retrieved from our knowledge base, which was open search. Let's take a look at the RAG Python script. So what we first do here is we create a search pipeline. In this search pipeline, we have a retrieval augmented generation processor to send the question and the search results for a generated response. In this pipeline, we specify the model ID. So this is the DeepSeq model ID that we have deployed on OpenSearch, hosted on SageMaker. The context field list will be the text from our documents. The system prompt is specified here and the user instructions are also specified here. We then submit a neural search query. The neural search query essentially uses the embedding model to generate a vector embedding for our input query. And then it runs a KNN query against our index to find the nearest documents to our input query. So in this case, our query text is what's the population increase of New York and we're retrieving the five nearest neighbors and the size of our query is two, so it'll only return the top two. The second part of the query specifies the parameters for the generative response. Where we're calling our DeepSeq model. In this case, the model is specified as Bedrock and Claude, but this will change in the future to a DeepSeq specific blueprint. Even though it says this, it'll still call the DeepSeq model hosted on SageMaker. Okay, let's run it. So what's happening now is that we first run a query against OpenSearch, which will get converted to a vector embedding and then retrieve the nearest neighbors and then send that to, to the large language model, which will then generate a response. To make this a bit easier to read, I'm going to actually run the same query directly in the DevTools console. So here we go. It's a get population data search using the search pipeline that we created earlier. And it's the same query the same additional parameters. And here's the response. We can see that there were five hits on the KNN and it only retrieved the top two as we specified. So here's doc ID four and doc ID two, which have details around the population of Miami and New York, uh, specifically related to what we asked about, which was the New York City population comparing with Miami from the years 2021 to 2023. So these are the two documents. And then it was sent to our large language model with the specific prompt as we specified earlier. The question is specified here as we asked what's the population of New York Metro in 2023. And once it's done thinking, it finally answers by saying the population of New York City in 2023 is this number according to the UN projections. And there you have it. We have successfully built a powerful RAG application combining DeepSeq R1 with Amazon Open Search Service as a vector database. We've covered everything from setting up the initial infrastructure, creating the IAM roles and permissions, to implementing the actual RAG workflow with vector embeddings. Remember, this solution isn't just about combining technologies. It's about creating practical, scalable AI applications that can handle real-world business challenges. Whether you're building a customer service solution, a research tool, or any other AI-powered application, this architecture can provide you with a solid foundation to get started. For more information on how to implement this, check out the blog in the description below, as well as additional documentation 
And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments below. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.